Good evening, everyone. Today is Wednesday, February 17th, 2016. I'm Luigi Parakeet, and this is your gaming news lowdown of the day. Warren Spector, best known for creating the original Deus Ex, has joined Other Side Entertainment. After getting out of game development to teach, he's back in due to his excitement to work on Underworld Ascendant and System Shock 3. WWE 2K16 is coming to PC on March 11th. For $50, you'll get the base game and all the DLC from the consoles. A Japanese newspaper interviewed the head of the Pokemon company, and some details about the rollout of Pokemon Go were made available, but probably not the details you want. All that was said is that the game will be launching in Japan, Europe, and North America first. No further information was given, like maybe a date for when we can expect this rollout to begin. The Division's open beta starts tomorrow on Xbox One. It'll start on Friday for PS4 and PC. It's available to everyone and available to preload now. The size of the download is about 25 gigs. If you're interested in an introductory lesson of the Japanese language, well, Learn Japanese to Survive Hiragana Battle has been released today. It's a JRPG all about learning to read and write hiragana. An idle game in the RuneScape universe is coming to Steam and eventually mobile. If you have fun playing games you don't actually have to play, well, you might want to check this one out. We may need a new segment for this show all about cool looking Japanese games that may not ever come out in English, but for now, I have this to show you. City Shrouded in Shadow comes from Granzella and Bandai Namco, and is all about the player trying to survive in a city as it's destroyed by Tokusatsu. Ultraman is even featured in some of the screenshots, as well as a tease to Godzilla or something similar. Well, that's all for me, Luigi Parakeet. Speaking of that segment about Japanese games, if the lowdown did have a section for Japanese games we wish were in English, what would we call it? Let me know in the comments below. This has been your gaming news lowdown of the day.